Okay, let's have a quick look at another worked example. Here's a beautiful half pipe and here's our Olympic level skateboarder sitting up the top of it. It's five metres deep. Um, so now one end of the half pipe, he's sitting up the top and let's pretend he's not moving at all. Down the bottom. And then he goes to the other side of the half pipe. So I've got the... Um, our skater going down to position two, there he is, looks beautiful, there, and being personal and public transport, there's his helmet, one, two, board, and off he goes, up to that position. The formula from your exam, work done equals change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy. Let's assume there is no work done. Work is force opposing motion times the distance he's travelling. Let's assume there is no friction in the skateboard, so it's not losing energy to heat through friction. Let's assume there is no air resistance, so we're not losing speed due to air resistance and drag. There's no noise. The skateboard's silent, so it's not converting potential energy into noise energy. Let's assume the imaginary case where there is no friction, no noise, no energy losses, in other words, a perpetual motion machine. But let's assume this skateboarder is now a world first. Up the top. Case one, his potential energy is five metres up. He's Let's assume that his mass is 68 kilograms. 68 kilograms plus two kilograms for the board is 70. So his M equals 70. We know that the acceleration due to gravity, the engineering studies approximation, is 10 metres per second to the minus two. 10 metres per second per second. His mass is 70 kilograms. Up here, what's his potential energy? It's mass times gravity times height. 70 times 10 times 5. Mass times gravity times height. Mass times gravity times height. And that equals 70 times 10, 730, 500 joules. So that equals 3,500 joules. He's still one half times mass is 70. His velocity is zero. So there is no velocity. Therefore there is no kinetic energy. There is no change in potential energy, there is no change in kinetic energy because that's our starting point. Let's now let him roll down this imaginary or this half pipe with no friction, with no heat losses, with no noise losses, with no air resistance. The ideal case. Now, potential energy is zero. Down here he's lost all potential energy because height is zero. His kinetic energy, however, change in potential energy, it's minus 3,500. Because he's lost 3,500 joules. There is no work done because there's no force. There's no resistance, so there is zero work. We're just converting energy from one form to another form. Work is force times distance. There is no force against him. There is no work being done. Kinetic energy must be plus 3,500. Therefore, because zero equals 3,500 minus 3,500. So, one half. Mass times velocity squared equals 3,500 joules. MV squared equals 7,000 joules. 
Just multiply both sides by 2. B squared over here I'm going to write. M equals 70. V squared equals 7,000 divided by the mass is 100. Let me try and put the numbers up correctly. 100. So that means that velocity equals the square root of 100, which was 10 when I went to school. So if you fall 5 metres through a half pipe, through the air if you're skydiving, whatever the case may be, with zero air resistance, after 5 metres you are going to be doing 10 metres per second, which earlier on we figured out was also 36 kilometres an hour. So, down the bottom is kinetic energy is 3,500 joules. Now it just keeps on rolling because there is no resistance and it gets all the way up the top again. Potential energy is 30... Potential energy is 3,500 joules, same as before. Kinetic energy is zero because he stops when he gets up the top and he runs out of energy to convert. Change in potential energy from zero metres to five metres up in the air means he is increased in potential energy by 3,500 joules, which also means he has decreased 3,500 joules worth of kinetic energy. How to calculate speed in engineering from a fall? Changing kinetic energy, the increase in kinetic energy equals the loss in potential energy assuming there is no work done on the object. So increase kinetic, decrease potential. Increase potential, decrease kinetic. They go hand in hand.